Potato! Welcome, boys and girls, and all the new people to the Potato Army to a brand new horror movie review. And today we are reviewing the first in the trilogy of Hell House. Before we get into this review, I'm going to pull it out there. This might be one of the best found footage horror movies I've seen in a long, long time. I'd say this matches up to the likes of Blair Witch, Grave Encounters and VHS. I'd say they're up there. I wouldn't say it's almost touching on Cannibal Holocaust because that's not one of the best ones ever made. But before we get into this review, if you guys could smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and join the Patman Army today because we are 62.6% of you aren't subscribed to watch this channel. So let's see if we can get that down to at least 60% to maybe even 50%. So just take a few seconds out of your day to hit that subscribe button. It helps me and it also helps you guys get notified when I do upload more reviews and horror reactions. But I'd like to thank you guys for all the support that you've been giving me on the channel over the last few weeks. It's been absolutely amazing. I'd like to say sorry about no live stream yesterday. My internet down there has been an absolute nightmare. I contacted the internet provider and apparently it was just going cock up everywhere. But, um, yeah. If you're wondering why i got a blue shirt on, I've just finished watching the Blues game and it's just absolutely horrible. But, we're reviewing the Hell House movie. This movie touched on a lot of deep fears for me. These, it, it's about, the movie is about a group of people getting a hotel and making it into a, a scared house. I think it's a scared, scared house or something like that where you walk through the house and they have like actors in there and stuff. There was one down in Blackpool that I was meant to go to but I think it was shut when I actually went down there so. But when we are allowed to go places like that, would you guys like to see me go through a scare house and record it? Let me know guys. Oh why did I say that? I'm going to shit myself. But yeah this what this film is, it's about a group of people who are creating a scare house, well, I'm not even sure what the name is, but a horror house sort of thing, event, where people can walk through and it's just showing you in the process of setting it all up, so I think that's what the trilogy is, it's all one story but in three parts, which I like, because instead of having everything mashed into two hours, I think they're like an hour and a half each, They've spread it across three films. I mean, I've already watched the second movie, and the second movie is almost as better than this one. So I can't wait to get onto the third one. But when you get a scare house, they're not all actors. So I end up chucking stuff in there, which I have one of the most biggest fear of is mannequins. And these mannequins are filled with clowns and everything, and just the eyes on them, it looks like they're constantly watching you. And the film gives you it makes you feel like you're trapped in there with them like it's just so compact and it's in filmed in one location and then as soon as you notice that the mannequins look oddly real for the whole film you're constantly looking in the background for the smallest change like you could just look at some of I had to rewind this movie about four times because I swear I kept seeing people just sitting there and just staring at them. Like, not moving, but you could tell there was a real person. And when a film makes you rewind to make sure your brain isn't fucking with you, I don't think I've ever had a film like that, to be honest. When I've sat there and I've saw it and I've been like... That's not real. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, I'm not even sure how much budget they had with this film. I mean... From the first one, it seems like they had more budget with the second one, but this one felt very VHS type. But it's more up to date because this was released, the first one was released in 2016, second one's 2018, I think third one released last year in 2020. They got a fourth one coming out. But for the budget they had, this was a really well made found footage film. And with a lot of found footage films, people seem to get that sick feeling with the camera 
And I've saw a lot of people talk about this one saying it's up there with one of the best ones because the camera doesn't make you feel sick or there's not an, too much shaky fucking cam. So you're not moving around the fucking room like this every fucking time. And it's just, I've, I've probably lost the position where I've had my camera now. <laughs> but yeah, but, um, when a film makes you sit there and question your own mind, they've done a good job in my opinion. There's only been a few films that have made me do that. Um, I think Blair Witch was one of them because I kept re-watching it just to see if I could see something in the woods. But this one kept making me rewind. Not once, but there must have been about four or five times that I sat there and was like, did I just see that? But surely that was just a mannequin or something or someone in dress. And yeah, everything about this film, like... The got. I think there was gore in this film. I know there was like, um, they were obviously dying, but the gore was decent, and they didn't really need the gore because the scares were there. Like you got the strobe lights flashing in one of these rooms, and it just you're constantly trying to look, but the strobe lights hurt in your eyes, and then you just see something moving in the distance, and you're like, that weren't there before. He was over there. What the fuck's going on? But, um, yeah, this film has made me definitely want to check out, well, not How House, but, like, a scare house. I, I want to go and travel to one when I can. But I definitely, definitely smashed it with this film. Like, like I said, they, have, they had enough time in that hour and a half to set you in with a plot, let you know what they're doing. And you see the outcome of all that and it just doesn't feel rushed because with the second one you get that extra bit of storytelling and you find about this person and that person and then I'm not sure with the third one because I haven't watched the third one yet, I'll probably watch it tonight. But I think movies should start, especially horror movies, maybe even found footage films should start dragging films out into different parts, into different movies and not bundle it all into a two hour slot. I mean, look at Justice League. We all saw how that one turned out and we're going to see how Schneider's version turns out. But, they definitely made a smart... It was all with Grave Encounters 2. You had the first part, I told the story, you found out about these people, found out what happened and then the second part is, oh, we're going to go and look for these people. And so that was a nice story dragged out. I mean, can I say the same with Blair Witch? Because it's pretty much a, a revamp story, sort of thing. But where they went with the second one, which we'll we probably review next week, um, and then the week after that I'll probably do How House Story. But I would definitely recommend checking this film out. If you like films like Cannibal Holocaust, VHS, Blair Witch... What, what are some of the other ones that I've seen that are absolutely... Look, Gateway Meat. Well, Gateway Meat is just an absolute fucked up film. And then... Uh, what's the other one? What's that other one that's like Gateway Meat? I think it's August Underground. That was a really fucked up fan footage film. But films like Cannibal Holocaust, Grave Encounters, VHS, Blair Witch. This is definitely up there with, with them. And they haven't messed it up like a lot of found footage films or paranormal activity and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend giving this movie a watch. I tried to find out a bit more, like um, like with the budget and the stuff like that, but I couldn't seem to find anything or like how much budget they spent on it. I mean, being with an up-to-date film, they're obviously going to have better equipment to film with, and like the old films or like VHS when they had to film on shitty cameras. But, um, yeah, this film had so much to offer and it paid out. I mean, the scares were there. It made you feel like you were trapped in there. It made you feel claustrophobic and it made you question everything you saw on screen. And to make, once again, to make you rewind a film and double check that your mind isn't playing with you. I had many times where I would stop the film and I turned around to see if there was something there. Just because this was fucking with my head so much. Because mannequins are a no-no for me. 
But yeah, um, I think IMBD gave this a 6.5. I'm not sure what Rotten Tomatoes gave this film. But it's I would never go by them ratings. I always go by mostly on fan pages and stuff like that. And I saw this on Shudder. Um, I saw How House 3 on Shudder and it had a good uh, fan rating. And I saw 1 and 2 on Prime and they had a good fan rating as well. So I was like, I'm going to check some of these reviews out. And a lot of people said they've totally smashed it with the storytelling, the plot, the pace of the movie. Um, once again, the claustrophobia of the movie as well. So, um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say about How House. Um, How House 2 is absolutely amazing. So check out that review when it comes out. Uh, that'll probably be next Wednesday. And if you want me to review any films that you haven't seen yet and want my opinion on before you watch them, drop them in the comment section down below or over on social media. But I would definitely, definitely give this film a watch, guys. Like I said, this is up there with the top, my top favourite four found footage films up there. This could be my like, top. I could probably say this is better than Grave Encounters. I wouldn't say it's better than Blair Witch. I wouldn't say it's better than Cannibal Holocaust. To be fair, it might be my top three. I'd say Cannibal Holocaust, Blair Witch, then Hell House. Oh, what would I put? Then I'd say Grave Encounters and VHS. Um, Paranormal Activities. Down, down, down. I'm not going to point where my camera is because I'm in the pyjama bottoms right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's down there. And that this film is up here. This is with like god tier found footage film. So um yeah, definitely, definitely check this out guys. But yeah, this has been another horror movie review. Um I nearly said reaction. I keep I've had to redo the intro about ten times because I keep saying reaction, so review. But yeah, this has been another review. We got a channel revamp coming soon, supported by your guy Zest. Um he's currently working on hooking us up, summer up for our Twitter. Our YouTube, new intro, new outro, new logo, new banner, everything like that. And also, before I seal this one off, make sure you check out my Twitter and make sure you go and support the pinned tweet on there talking about when we reach 5k subs. Um, we will be doing a charity stream. So, if you guys want to help support me and hopefully get us to that 5k subscribers and maybe doing that 48 hour stream. I'll be doing loads of stuff in there, giving Funko Pops away, doing stuff when we get donation goals, doing stupid things, and if we hit the big ones, I said that I'm going to get a tattoo of, because we're doing four charities, I'm going to get a tattoo of each charity somewhere on me, then also bleach this. Yeah, you heard that, I'm going to bleach it like Stan. Yeah, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you go and support that pin tweet. Probably be pinned on my account for a few months so we can help get that I was going to say train but that didn't sound like traction we want to get that traction going so yeah well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review once again if you want any movie reviews down below that you want to see com comment them down below or over on social media and um, also let me know if you guys have seen this movie and what were your thoughts on this well, I've been dominating Spud. I love you, Patman Army. Once again, please like, subscribe, share this video, and turn on that notification button to join the notification squad. And let's get that subscriber, the watch time from subscribers, let's get that down to at least 50%. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, join the Patman Army today. And yeah, once again, I'll be dominating Spud. Stay home, stay safe, and like always, don't forget. To stay starchy.